So conductance is Medtronic's patented technology. It's a form of ohmic testing. You could have uh, resistance, impedance, or conductance. Medtronic uses conductance. And what that conductance is doing, is it's measuring the, the plate surface, that electrolyte that's in there, the welds that are in there. It's picking all that up to tell you if that battery is healthy or not. So as a battery declines and its capacity goes down, so does that conductance go down. And there is some kind of a correlation between um, battery capacity and conductance. One of the reasons why we like conductance testing, it's, it's quick to test the battery, it's safe, it's accurate, and it's a good indication of the battery's state of health. So we don't measure the actual capacity, we're measuring the state of health, but there is that relationship to the state of health and the capacity. This is a uh, curves that show the rated capacity here and then this is the percent of life on the x-axis. So what IEEE says is that when a battery is at 80% of its rated capacity is when it should be replaced. And through Medtronic studies over the years, we found that 60% of your baseline that you take when you first install a battery and you measure it and you're going to come up with this conductance value that's going to be your benchmark, that baseline. When you get to 60% of that, so a 40% loss, is kind of equivalent to 80% capacity. It's a good rule of thumb to use when you want to know when should I start thinking about replacing my batteries and you get to that 60% mark. High conductance, it's good plate surface, everything is good. As that buildup begins on those uh, plates, you get that grid corrosion, your conductance is going to go down, and also your capacity is going to go down. How we do that test is we inject a AC signal into the battery, and we're looking at the voltage response in return. There's also a little load resistor that we turn on for three or four seconds. And it's just the Ohm's law relationship of the current to the voltage. We're looking at that difference and we're coming up with that conductance value. And the important thing to look for is that change in conductance. We're looking for a 30 to 50% loss from that original baseline of a good healthy battery.